Today we're viewing this 5 bed, 5 bath villa in La Alcaria. There's a really good flow of in and outside areas. In front of the pool there is a stairs. It goes to a separate garden. And yeah. This is a really nice infinity pool. I mean, today we can see Morocco. We can see the hotel in the distance. And then in the evening, what's better than to sit in one of these lounge pits, enjoying a drink. Attach this uh, a really nice barbecue area. And if you have a party, you can access uh, the terrace and this whole area uh, behind the stairs. So it's no need to go through the house, you have direct access. The living room is an open space with a nice big lounge area, a dining area and the kitchen. And I don't know if you can see it, but uh, the fireplace is a see-through. So that's really cool if you sit on the other side. And then we enter the kitchen. Beautiful white kitchen with uh, meal appliances. We have the extractor above and at the back you will find a guest toilet. Here you have a utility room with direct access to the driveway. What I like most about this kitchen is the view. On clear days like today, you can see Africa stretched out on the horizon. This villa consists out of four floors. We have the lift that connects to all four floors. Then you have an internal staircase, which is beautifully designed. It connects to three floors. If we go down, out, there is a set of stairways that goes from ground floor all the way to the solarium at the top. First floor. First floor is divided over two wings. On the right side you have three bedrooms en suite with uh, two bedrooms sharing one terrace. On the left we have the master bedroom, the lift and this door connects to the outside stairways that goes all the way to the top. Come, let's take a look at the master bedroom. A walk-in closet an atrium that lets in a lot of daylight. And on the right, you have this designer bathtub with views of the coast. Then we have double showers 
and a window so you have daylight from the atrium. It's beautiful. Now we enter the bedroom. This area also has a fireplace and its own private terrace that's used to the coast. This corridor on the right wing connects three kind of identical bedrooms en suite. These are three good sized bedrooms with plenty of cupboard space, an en suite bathroom and direct access to the outside. Basement. The basement is massive. Here in the back, behind the glass, uh, you see a gym or a bodega. Uh, it's whatever you want to do with the space. Then we have the lift, and the first thing we're going to have to take a look at is the garage. The house has a two car garage, and it will probably also fit a golf buggy. So if you look at the distribution, on the right side you also have a utility room, uh, another bedroom en suite and a guest bathroom. And now we come to this yeah, great open space. Here you can create uh, two more bedrooms and if you take a look at these, uh, um, these windows, uh, from the outside, uh, we will show you later on, uh, yeah, this can be dug out more. And you can have floor to ceiling windows. This goes for all the rooms on this side of the basement. Now we enter the cinema room with a pre-install for a wet bar. Now we're at the solarium. Here's a pre-install, so if you want an outside kitchen, you can just build one. There's a little toldo, a hot tub. Who doesn't want to get in a hot tub here? I mean, the views are spectacular. We have golf views, you see La Korea and the sea.